woman whose home was on lockdown for more than 12 hours yesterday is grateful tonight to be back at home. Now, two people are now charged. 19-year-old Kendra Arnold for attempting to burglarize the woman's home and 21-year-old Caleb Myers for causing the standoff with police. Amy Hawley is live in Gladstone with our top story tonight at 5. Amy. Today, and her husband both were able to go back inside their own home today, but she says she still feels homeless. It just doesn't feel the same, and if you look back behind me, it doesn't look the same either. They've had to board the whole thing up after police tear gassed it uh, yesterday after a nearly 12-hour standoff, and she says she's really not sure why she was targeted in the first place. The garage is the only place Denise Peterson can get some sleep. She says she can't enter her house for long. Tear gas has burned her husband's skin and continues to burn their eyes. It's just, it's nauseating to think some creep has been, you know, holding up in your house for 13 hours. Here's where she says police found 21-year-old Caleb Myers, tightly snug in blankets in her master bathroom linen closet. Our photographer even had a hard time entering the house for long. It's not going to be the way that we left it because they're they're probably going to have to go in and gut it and remove the carpet and they're going to have to remove some sheetrock. The all-day standoff at her house began about 11 o'clock in the morning when police say Caleb Myers and Kendra Arnold were in the process of burglarizing the home. Kendra left with police, but Caleb Myers holed himself up inside. Negotiating did not get him to leave, so police had to use tear gas in every single room and five shots through the roof. Denise says even though it looks like nothing was taken, she still feels violated. It's unnerving. I mean, actually, it puts knots in your stomach. It kind of makes you nauseated. Um, it's hard to eat. It's hard to sleep. And all for what? She's not sure. What did he want? You know, what was he doing? Mm -hmm. And why wouldn't he come out? Now, the prosecutor's office, we talked to them today. Caleb Myers was recently released from jail after a long history of crime. In fact, he was given probation just a few weeks ago, really given a second chance by the corrections office. But the prosecutor's office told us today if he's convicted of what he did here yesterday, allegedly, well, he could face 20 years in jail with no chance of probation. In Gladstone, Amy Holly, NBC Action News.